Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so Operation Health just launched its first major update, um, update 2.1. It's only out for the PC right now. It should be out uh, for consoles on June 20th, as shown here. Uh, the first biggest thing is one-step matchmaking. Um, lots of like background stuff, I guess. Uh, personally, after I wanted to do this kind of like little update review thing uh, after the update came out and I played on it. It is immensely better. Um, so we'll go over it in game and stuff too, but when you're queued for a game um, now, you can like go through all the menus and stuff and unlock like weapons, sort operators, all that kind of stuff. But the biggest thing is that you find games a lot faster because everything is um, server-side based uh, now instead. And uh, also completely got rid of dodging. So before you would see the five people that you're playing, and then you could like back out if you thought you were going to lose, or if you noticed the names and you thought you were going to lose or something. Now you just get put into the game. And if you leave, you get an abandoned penalty and a loss. Um, so they reworked all the hitboxes as well. As you can see here, they're all based not on like the earmuffs and stuff like they used to be on like Blitz and stuff like that. So Blitz won't be getting shot through his shield as much and stuff anymore. Um, or probably, hopefully at all. I haven't really played too, too much Blitz to see. But it is also a little bit annoying on other operators like IQ, like Bandit, like Jaeger that didn't actually need, like, their head hitboxes reduced at all. So I'm kind of in between on this. I'm, I'm not exactly sure I feel about it 100% yet. But so far, I kind of don't like it on Jaeger, Bandit, IQ, Rook. Like, operators that, you know, their heads didn't really need to be smaller. They were already fine. Um, but I am I'm glad that they fixed Blitz, right? Um, they nerfed Glass a bit, uh, reduced by nerfing his gun. They didn't actually remove the ability of the thermal scope or remove his smokes. Um, so pretty much they have the damage at close range and put it about to 15 meter range where it used to be. So it's it's a lot weaker right now. Um, this is mostly the range that you're going to be shooting from. So generally you'd be shooting from amount of damage in here whereas it's reduced heavily now it takes pretty much an extra shot i still think it's really good and it'll be more situational now because it's not as overpowered up close and stuff like that but it'll still be used a lot um ash and thermite smokes got replaced for stun grenades i don't like this change to be honest um we'll see how it plays out i think it makes ash even stronger which is the last thing that ash needed um and it made thermite in some ways stronger but in some ways weaker as well because now thermite like a lot of times is planting the bomb it'd be nice for him to smoke up and be able to plant using jackal got smokes again i thought jackal was like fine that he had flashes i didn't think he was like as strong as ash was as like for clearing so mm, i'm not super happy about these swaps and for fuse it didn't really matter to be honest um either one is fine for him i mean smoke might even be better for fuse because he could be a little bit more of a support player um, they got rid of some instant spawn kills, so here's the one on Chalet that they fixed, here's one on Consulate, and here's one on Canal. Um, I'm going to show you how to break this one on Canal already. You can get into this window and shoot down on that spawn anyway. Um, see, I, I actually don't like how they put this window up here either, um, because it protects the north windows like very, very heavily, which... I think it changes the whole map, but it's not a map in Pro League, so it's not like a huge, huge complaint. Um, you could choose to keep your team or go back to the main menu and stuff after a game. This is all good. There's been tons of gameplay fixes. You guys can go over that kind of stuff if you want. I'll link these in the description below. The biggest one, though, is that IQ doesn't see friendly gadgets anymore, which is really nice. And uh, Skyscraper, a big deal. I'll go over these as well. <laughs> Is that geisha floor is breakable again you could place objects in geisha and then in tea room there's like that little closet or golden safe we call it safe um the floor on it is not impenetrable anymore it can be c4'd and shot through that's actually a massive massive change um, but all the rest of it is just small bug fixes really there's there's nothing super super big so but uh we'll go over um, some of the stuff in game now. Okay, so this is kind of what the the new menu looks like. Um, if you, I don't want to get into a game really, but if you queue up, you click casual or ranked. There's a little 
box. I'll show you guys how it looks, kind of. So it looks like that. I'm going to quit the matchmaking, and you get that middle screen um, that pops up. And while you're in that screen, you can go through your operators, click on all your different operators, go in the shop menu, buy skins. Um, you could equip different kinds of skins if you want to. Um, stuff like that. I said like the equipment that got changed. Uh, the Ashes stun grenades, as you can see there. Thermite stun grenades, you can see there on the bottom right. And then Jackal has smokes now. And Fuse has smokes. So it's pretty nice that you can go through all of this. And like I said, you get games like instantly people can't dodge. Especially if when I'm streaming at night and it's like 5 a.m. on Eastern you know, US servers and people are dodging me, it was absolutely the most frustrating thing in the world. So that's like a huge change for me personally when I'm waiting 10 minutes for a game and then I get a game and the people dodge anyway, just because they know they have a good chance of losing. So um, we'll head into a custom game. I just want to show you guys really quick the canal change. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is like the safe spot in tea room. This is all spammable now straight through. Um, they got rid of like the safe floor in here. So uh, definitely a huge, huge, huge change. So you have to clear out. It's like mandatory now that you clear out below before you start planning. Um, and then Geisha at one point was all spammable, and now it is again. And place frost traps here. You can place wire here. So Geisha's fixed, pretty much, as for placing gadgets and stuff. And like before, like this last update made it so that just this part of the floor was spammable, and this part was solid. So this is all breakable again. Looks like them. So those are the, just the, the main changes to Skyscraper. All right, so we are headed to Canal. May as well pick IQ for this as well. Show you guys them. Doesn't show on the front of the gadgets anymore, which is pretty nice. I'll show you guys how to get up into this window. This is why I don't really agree with this change. And the way that I personally think, well, let me switch my spawn to construction. The way that I think it should have been done is they should have changed the spawns, which is a lot more work, and they said they plan on doing maybe something like this in the future. Um, but because Canal isn't in the Pro League, you know, it's not in the competitive map pool, I'm fine with this change, personally. But this window is blocked off now. And I think the spot that you should be able to, you should they should just change the spawns to be behind this container. I think this would be a little bit better, it would reduce instant spawn killing. You have multiple ways to get out. You can peek wide, you can peek up the stairs. Uh, you can repel up here to the roof, and you can peek out left. So there's like a lot of ways to get out of spawn. It's not like there's a limited amount or anything, but, and here's the IQ change. There's a drone. You can't see the drone, which is nice. And you see the bomb right there. All right, but well, let's go over how to get into this window. And this is why I don't think this is like the best solution really. Um, it is going to reduce 99% of probably the spawn killing and stuff like that over there. But uh, you can rip down this window. Break it, you have to break it down the or dough. But you can like vault in just like this. Lay down. And then you're right back where you were supposed to be. Try not to fall out, but you get the idea. <coughs> I just wanted to show you guys like the range of motion that you can have like safely over here. But anyway, you get the idea. And um, like I said, pretty much the only other changes, big changes was Glass's rifle getting a massive damage decrease. Um, the recoil and stuff they, is a little bit different, I think, but I, I don't really notice it too much. Um, but yeah, that's about all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick like overview, the new update. Overall, I think it's a positive change for the game. Um, like matchmaking and stuff is way, 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 way faster, like without a doubt. So I'm looking forward to the other changes they make, eventual server upgrades and stuff like that are going to be a big deal. So looking forward to all of that, but I will see you guys in the next video.